Good day everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the process of creating mail merge document. According to techopedia.com, mail merge is a feature within most data processing applications that enables users to send a similar letter or document to multiple recipients. It enables connecting a single form template with a data source that contains information about the recipient's name, address, and other predefined and supported data. I am going to demonstrate how to insert a page border. To insert a page border, click Design tab. So we're here already. What we're going to do is to click Page Border. And then we have here Page Border. So uh, we are going to select. What you're going to do, guys, is to select which style do you want. Let's say if we want a box. So it will box everything, the whole document. And then the style, let's say this one, you click OK, and there you go. Let's see. So how does it look like? This one, that's the page border. We go back and customize the page border. So how to remove it? You click None. OK. There you go. When you press Control P, the page border disappears. OK. Next, we are going to uh, set page border but then with different colors and styles. So you just scroll this, you select box, and then you select uh, which style do you want? Let's say this one, and then the color, which color, and then uh, the width, this one is the width of the dock T border. You can just decrease. So if you don't like that, you can make use of an art. So if I'm going to select this one, so it depends on you. First, you are going to look for a border that uh, will really enhance your certificate. Kung baga sa ano bagay ba sa look and feel niya. Maganda ba? Okay, so I'll be using this. And the color that I want to use, it's automatic. Kasi it dep this one depends on the color of the uh, predefined uh, art that is already stored. Okay, so you click OK. Oh. That's it. That's the border. So, P, yeah. Okay, control P, yeah. That's the border. Insert text box. Of course, you're going to click insert tab. Then we can see here the in insert text box. What you're going to do is to click. So after clicking, you select one, this one. And then we can now customize its content. Let's say I'm going to enlarge the magnification. Yeah, let's say I'm going to say ABC Senior 
high school. Okay, so there you go. We have already a text box. So how are we going to um, uh, align this on the center of the page? We change the font and then we remove the border. Okay, let's start to remove the border. You select the text box, right click, and then format shape. There you go. You select no line. Okay, yeah, no line. So what will happen? The border of the text box is no longer visible. So we have this. Now, we are going to align this on the center of the page. I'm going to decrease the ayan. So how can you move it up a little bit? Natatas natin. So you select this and then select behind. Yan, yan na. Behind text. Okay. So you can move it up. Kasi we're going to position it here. Yan. Then you just drag. Yan. Okay, pwede na to. You can easily move up and down na kasi nag mo na. What I am pressing, guys, is the up and down button. So, we can now format this on the center. We go to home. Then, you simply click this one. Ito, 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 you highlight this and click the center. Or, uh, using your keyboard, I, undo, I press Control plus E. Yes, an elephant control plus E. There you go. It is already on the center. So if you want to increase the font size, you just hit this one. To this. Yan. So yan. Okay. Or I don't like if it is already highlighted. The keyboard shortcut is a control E. A control shape plus greater than. Yan, I'm pressing Control Shift Greater than so I can see. Okay, ayoko yan. Besto na, ganyan na. That's it. Next, we change the font style. So, the style, I like this. And this is the font I like. You don't like that. You just scroll. And then, you just select one. Okay? Yan. Oh, that's it. So, the process that I did so that you can display the remaining content of your certificate. You just remove, uh, the, uh, no, repeat the process that I executed. Let's see. Let us now create a mail merge document. To create mail merge, you click, click mailings. Yeah, mailings. And then we are going to use this. Okay, so we, we follow step by step. So what we are going to do is set an envelope, set labels, directory. So you just remain this as letters and they select next document. So nakalagay dito. How do you want to set up your letter? Use the current document. Start from template. Of course, use the current document. This one, the certificate that we have now. And then we select next selection. So next, select recipient. Then, um, so we are going to use an existing list. Select from Outlook. So we're going to use browse. Why? For the, the recipients that... Uh, I created already a separate Word document that contains the recipient. I click Browse. Okay. And then, when you do this activity, you need to store the certificate as well as the data source in one folder. Look at this. Yeah, I save it here. 
So we have I have two files here, the certificate, this is certificate, and uh, the data where will I get all the names and the award, it is stored here inside the merge data. So I selected merge data, then we select open. Okay, and then you just click OK when this one appears, you just click OK. Now, uh, we have here already the merge field. So what I am going to do, see the name and the award. So what I'm going to do is to delete the name, this, this one. Then you just delete this and insert the name. So I'll delete everything. Yeah, insert merge field name. There you go. It's the name. And then for the subject, I'll do to delete this and select average performance in. We put the award. So as you can see, the term for this, these are the two merge fields. So field is the first field and this is the second field. So how can we see the value? Because those are only field names so that we can view or see the value we select the preview results, the one with ABC. We click this. There you go. Okay. And then the num the other students who will receive the award because we'll be making 10. So you just click this. And it transfers. So Sarah Eileen Pasqua. Okay. So this one is the original file. I'll show you where we're getting that. This is the data source. So whatever data that we put here will appear there. So in your activity, based on the instruction, we'll be using 10 data. So you'll be adding, because on my example, I used only five students and five awards. But on your part, you'll be creating 10. So you just update this. If you want to add some, you just update your table. So I'm going to close this. I'll just, I'll just present it to you. Kung saan nang galing yung data na yun. Bakit siya lumilipat. So nandito siya. So this is the navigation button. The first record. And this is the last record. Once again, I'm reiterating that in this activity, you are going to create 10. So dito lang po, demonstrate. Yan. Okay? So, that's how you are going to create a mail merge. If this video helps you, kindly click the subscribe and thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.